Bas. Wana jubili hamjambo. Salam alaikum. Bwana asifiwe. Tu salamiane kwa hewa. Your Excellency, Mweshimiwa Uhuru Kinyata. We were here, or we were in Kasarani, four and a half years ago. Four and a half years ago, when we chose you, and we endorsed you as our leader and as our captain of the Jubilee team then. Today, Your Excellency, we are here back at the Bombers of Kenya to give you another opportunity, not by default, but what you have done and what your government has achieved for the people of Kenya, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, before you are the aspirants of the Jubilee Party members and its affiliates. Your Excellency, you told us you want a party that represents the face of Kenya, where people of all regions, all ethnic shades of life, and all religions will have a space to sit. That dream, Your Excellency, we have achieved today. Your Excellency, you said we must bring equity and inclusivity in the nation. I want to stand here and challenge our competitors who always use the tribal card and take them the memory lane of the leadership of Jubilee in parliament and compare with their leadership in the legislature. Your Excellency, I'm the leader of the majority, and I come from the north. I don't come from central, neither the rift. My deputy, Your Excellency, is Naomi Shaban from the coastal region. Your Excellency, the majority whip in the National Assembly is a Maasai, my good friend, our whip, Honorable Katole Metitu. His deputy is Honorable Washiali from Western Kenya. Mr. President, I want to tell the people of Kenya, look at the leadership of the minority in the National Assembly, all our competitors. The leader of minority in the National Assembly is Francis Jenze. He comes from Kitui County, the backyard of Honorable Kalonzo Musioka. His deputy is the nephew of Raila Amolo Odinga, Honorable Jakoyo Mitio and even cousin. If you look at the Senate, the leader of the minority is none other than Moses Watangula. He gave himself a job. His deputy and all the leadership. You look at Honorable Johnson Mudama, the majority whip. The counterpart of the Jubilee in the Senate is nominated Senator Bichi Elachi. The leader of majority in the Senate, Honorable uh, President, is none other than Professor Kindiki from a very tiny, remote, dry part of Eastern Province, Faraka Nithi. This is the kind of the picture we want to tell the people of Kenya, that your government believes in inclusivity. Mr. President, You fought for the rights of women in this country. And since independence, no any other government, your father's government, Mze Moi, Mze Kibaki, did we have six women cabinet ministers. Two of them holding the portfolio of defense and foreign ministry, never seen even in the continent of Africa. This is what you have done for the women of Kenya. Mr. President, day in, day out, they talk about corruption and land issues. 
Today, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka, if you can listen to me, his home where he resides every evening is the 200 acres land of NYS. You talk about land issue. You look at Honorable Musalia Mudavadi and Honorable Raila Odinga is on record in a public television that the Golden Buck, the architect of the Golden Buck scandal, was none other than Musalia Mudavadi. Mr. President, I had the opportunity to serve in the 11th Parliament. And the colleagues who served with me here, I'm sure the Deputy President was my colleague. You, as a Minister for Finance, you are my colleague. Honorable Musalia Mudavadi is the only living politician involved in corruption of a cemetery scandal. It's a, it's a report of parliament. Mr. President, Honorable Moses Watangula is the only living, and I want to send my condolences to the first foreign minister of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. Munyu Wayaki, which you buried the other day. From Munyu Wayaki to Amina Muhammad today, the only living foreign minister who sold our Kenyan embassies in Tokyo is none other than Moses Watangula. <laughs> Mr. President, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> President, it's a boy, it's a boy. Because as we approach the general election, we want the people of the Kenya to make a choice. A choice between those when they were given an opportunity who delivered on the promise they made to the people of Kenya and those who from morning, from morning to, evening, to evening, they peddle lies, propaganda, and ethnic politics in our country. Attention. Mr. President, those of us who work with you and those of us who are here who are forming the team that will play the rematch of 2017. And we are very happy. They are giving us a rematch. We have the same team. I thought they would give us Mozo Wetangula. I thought they would give us Kalonzo Musioka. But they have given us a captain that we know, a captain that we have an age difference with, a captain that we know his politics is based of, on ethnic and hate and division and poverty of the people of Kenya. We present you, Your Excellency, today when you have a scorecard in health, in education, in infrastructure, in social security, in security itself, in unifying the nation, you have a scorecard. In 2013, Mr. President, we had a baggage. We were not in government. We had the ICC on our shoulders. Today, I want to thank the Almighty God I want to thank the Almighty God who shared the heavy load that we carried in 2013. In 2017, we are going to the field, to that special match when we are energized, when we have a scorecard, when we have unified our people, when we have put all our parties together. Mr. President, those of us who are here, we are up to the task. We have the youngest governors. We will produce the first women governors. We will produce the first women senators. We will produce the first people with a disability who will win elective seats. We have hustlers who won MCAs among us here. 
shoe shiners and watchmen. This is a party of the rich and the poor and all shades of life. In conclusion, before I invite the Deputy President, Mr. President, I saw people carrying placards written 10 million. I was shocked. What is 10 million? Is it 10 million shillings? Is it 10 million people? They didn't say it. But I want to say it that when the die is cast, when the votes are counted in a free, fair, and credible election, we, the Jubilee team, will be the victorious. But I know where the 10 million is coming from, Mr. President. We are aware they are setting up a tiling center in Tanzania. We are aware. And when they set up that tiling center, we are also aware, and I want them to see me, eyeball, and they see me. When they set the tiling center, they want to hack the IEBC system. We are aware of that. And they want to use fake results, imaginary voters, to claim victory. But we, the Jubilee leadership sitting here, in our villages, in our polling stations, form teams that will guard our votes. <laughs> Mr. President, finally, we are here when I, myself, a pastoralist from the northern Kenya who have never seen a tarmac road. The tarmac was ending in my constituency in Garissa. Today I stand here, a proud leader, that the road between Garissa and Wajia is under construction. <laughs> that today you can drive to Moyale and Marsabet on a tarmac road in 50 years of independence. That today, the national grid has reached northern part of Kenya. That the same electricity that is found in Nairobi can be accessed by the residents. That you created a nation where all of us can be proud on. But I want to give free advice to my colleagues, the three principles, or the four principles, or the five principles, or the assistant ministers, that when Uhuru Kenyatta is uniting the nation across ethnic, religious, and regional dimension, you want to share the cake among three communities. Where are the Somalis? Where is the Muslim community? And Mr. President, I tell people every day that, and I want to tell the people of Kenya, please take your children to school. Give your children education. You have seen the damage when you don't take your child to school or when your child gets a D minus and becomes a leader how that country can go about. Mr. President, I have said much. We are proud of you. You have led us four and a half years. We have a proud nation. All of us are ready to hit the tarmac where the rubber meets the road. We will campaign for you. We will campaign for ourselves. We will bring back the tyranny both in the Senate and in the National Assembly. And Mr. President, last night I watched the Congress, the US Congress. And that is where I saw a similar tyranny is working when the Obamacare was thrown out. So it's not only us, it's everywhere in the world that democracy dictates. With those many, many remarks, 
I want to invite. Uh, I want to invite the Secretary General of the Great Party, the party that did the most free, fair, and credible elections that we are proud of, the Honorable Rafael Tuju, to conduct the required process in law to agree all of us that our flag bearer becomes Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, the next and the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you, sir.